Hey friends and welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and today is super exciting because we are going to be incubating eggs. So I have a dozen eggs right here. We're about to get the incubator set up. I got an incubator. I've never used one before. So if you've never used one, let me show you how as I'm learning. And these are a mix of different breeds. You can see there's like some green eggs that are so cool, some really dark brown ones, some pink ones, all these different kinds of shades. And it's a bunch of different kinds of heritage chickens. I know there's like some Rhode Island Red, some Easter Eggers in here. So two things. I'm hoping they all hatch and I'm hoping they're all hens. Probably won't be, but you know, a girl can wish. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to set up our incubator. All we need to do is let it run for four to five hours. And then we need to let the eggs just adjust to the room temperature. You don't want them to get cold because it'll deactivate them. So they're just going to be chilling by the fire where it's warm. The incubator needs to be in an area that has a room temperature from 74 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is down here in my basement by my wood stove. So we are just going to get this started and ready to go. And then after it's ran, we are going to put the eggs in. So all I'm gonna do to run this for four to five hours is I'm going to put water in this little cup right here, which helps regulate the humidity and plug it in and just let it run. So I've poured in the water into the first cup, which is cup A, and then there is another cup, cup B, which I won't be using until the last three days of the incubation. Um, it is covered right now, so the humidity can be regulated and there's no air that seeps in or out. And then there is a little air vent right here that I'm going to open to 50%. And this helps with the humidity and helps regulate it. And now the machine is going to warm up to 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit and get to about 50% humidity. So I'm just going to let it do its thing, make sure it's running right, and we will be back to check it out. The incubator has been running for a few hours and it's actually late at night, so that's why I have to change. But it is time to put the eggs in. It has reached 99 point five degrees and 55 percent humidity anywhere between 48 percent and 55 percent humidity is good for poultry so now we are going to lift the lid put in the eggs and i am so excited i'm just going to lift the lid put it on this chair right here and then we are going to put in the eggs make sure they're all good to go do a test run and then they will be incubating so we're gonna put the eggs in and you want to make sure the pointy end, which I believe the pointy end ooh, on that one is right here. You want it to face in. Because I only have 12 eggs and the capacity for this is 22, I can space out the eggs a bit. These olive eggs are literally the coolest. I really hope I get some hatches and that they're hens from these eggs. And we'll put this little lucky egg right, well, we'll put it right here. We're going to put the lid back on now. So this incubator comes with a rotator and we're just going to do a test rotation. You press the positive and the negative. So it looks like it's good and it's rotating. And now we are going to reset the top because it's been running for a while. So we are going to hold down the menu and the negative. So this just reset and I just told the machine that the 21 days of incubation need to start now and everything's rotating. It's going to come back up to the 99.5 and the 50 to 55% humidity. And then I just check on these every little bit, see how they're doing, making sure they're rotating. And then three days before they hatch, I will adjust the humidity. So we will be back then. 
All right, it has been 18 days since we put the eggs in the incubator. In three days on day 21, they are supposed to start hatching, fingers crossed, everything goes to plan. But today we have two things to do. We have to take out the automatic egg ro rotator. So this incubator automatically rotates the eggs. It's been so nice. I literally haven't had to do anything besides put water in for the humidity. The second thing that we have to do today is take off the other plug besides the area of where I've been pouring in the water. So we are going to ramp up the humidity from 50% to about 70%. So that is all we are going to be doing today. The first thing that I want to do though is take out the rotator. We want to be quick because we don't want to lose all the humidity. And then we will take out the plug over here, pour in the water, and then wait three days and hopefully we'll start seeing some chicks hatch. I am just going to lift this up really quick, quickly, grab the little rotator, take it out, and put the lid back on. That was not as quick as I was hoping. It's not a big deal, but some of the eggs are bigger eggs. So when I took this out, they were wanting to stay in here. Like they didn't want to go through here. It wasn't just a quick lift. So I had to rearrange some of the eggs, not a big deal. And I spaced them out so then they have enough room to hatch. The purpose of removing the egg turner is so that the chicks will have room to hatch. So when they're breaking out of their shell, if they are inside here, these little rivets could inhibit them from having room to break out, could keep them in the shell, and then they could end up dying. So that is why we, re we remove this three days before their scheduled hatch time. The next thing we're going to do is open up this other plug over here and pour in the water. We are just going to put water in both of the little plugs right here because we are cranking up the humidity. So I'm going to fill both of them up to max. And then we open up this little vent right here to fully open and that is all we do. So three days they should start hatching. I'm just going to make sure that the humidity levels around 70 and then we anxiously await our little chickies. Hopefully they're all hens, but I will see you guys in a few days when and if they start hatching. I will see you guys in three days when the chickies start to hatch. Keep your fingers crossed. In the meantime, while we wait for the eggs to hatch, I got these four little chickies from the farm storm. I couldn't help myself. Another little chickies under there and they are so cute and they're getting so big. So I will be putting the chickies that hatch from the eggs into here with them so they can get used to each other and become a little flock, but they are quite messy. I've already refilled their food and water today and they are just having the time of their lives. Today is day 20 of our chick hatching process. So anytime between now and tomorrow and a few days after tomorrow, which is the 21 day mark, we should start seeing little chickies hatch. Nothing so far, I'm anxiously awaiting. In the meantime though, the four chickies that I got from the supply store are starting to get big, more active, so that's exciting. And I keep checking on this, hoping to see like someone breaking out of their shell. Until then, I'm just monitoring, making sure that the moisture stays up around 70% or the humidity. And I will keep you guys posted in video if I see anything. It is day 21. I just woke up, got ready. 
I'm coming downstairs to see if there are any chickies that are hatched. I hear my other little chickies chirping right now. So I'm just gonna take you guys with me so we can experience any chickies hatching. But yeah, these little chickies are happy. They're getting big, super big. There's a little chicky that hatched. Oh my gosh. There's a little chicky. Okay, there's just one chicky. They're sleeping, I hope. And it looks like they kicked all the eggs around. Day 21, and I woke up to this little chicky in the incubator the first one to hatch and they moved all of the eggs so i think i'm gonna wait a little bit till they're more fluffy and not wet and maybe move the eggs back i don't know oh my gosh i will keep checking throughout the day and video every time we find a chicky hope we get more it is the end of day 21 and I was starting to get a little worried thinking that this was going to be the only little chicky. But good news, I see two eggs potentially hatching. I will show you there's one that's kind of working through the egg shell and I still have my little chicky which can stay in there for up to three days before I have to move them because they can survive off the nutrients and the yolk. And then there was another egg, I don't know if I'll be able to show you, it's kind of in the middle of the incubator, that is also being poked through. So fingers crossed we get more chickies. Not much action is going on here. Oh, oh they're kind of moving, look. <gasps> I just double checked and it looks like none of the other eggs have anything going on besides that one with some movement. And I'm almost wondering if we might just have one or two chickies. Hoping tomorrow brings more chickies and I wake up to some more. I will walk down with you tomorrow morning. Right as I said that we are just going to be getting one or two chickies, I looked. There is another egg hatching. I heard chirping and saw the little chickies sleeping. And so I want to see if I can show you the other egg hatching and the little chicken inside the egg that's coming out right now. They're chirping. See that little chickie sleeping. This one is chirping. And then this one you can see right in there. They're also poking out because I saw as soon as I stopped the video, this one moved. So they're trying to come out right there. Yeah, they're moving. If anything happens tonight and we get chickies, I'll be back. If not, see you in the morning again. They hatched. And look how happy that chickie from this morning is to have a little friend. Cute. They are tired. <laughs> and that, what is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I guess even the pecking order is uh, making itself known day one. Wow. Day 22, good morning. Let's go see if we have any surprises, any chickies to wake up to. Uh, yeah, we definitely do. I see some chickies. I don't know how many though. Oh my gosh. We have two more chickies. The two dark ones right there and right there. They are new. 
and that little yellow chicky with the black back is from last night and this is our original chicky and this original chicky has been kind of aggressive like they've been like last night they were beating up uh the second chicky chicky number two man no what is your deal Not only do we have four chickies, but the anticipated chicky, the olive egg, they are looking to hatch right now and are pipping out of their shell. Let me show you. Right there. This chicky broke out of the brooder. Oh, oh wow. Come here, little chicky. Come here. Yeah, come here. Yeah, you what are you doing? And what are you doing? Oh gosh. We got some drama going on. We do have some problems arising with the chickens hatching and my farm store chickens. And the chicken problem here is that the first chicken that hatched is like kind of a bully. And I've noticed they've been like beating up the other chicks. So I think they're just establishing pecking order, but I'm just anxiously awaiting everybody to hatch so I can get the chickies into their brooder. And then my farm store chickies, they are escaping now. So I got to put some sort of lattice over the top. But one good thing about them is they chirp their little hearts out when they get out of their little house. So I will keep you guys posted when the little olive egg hatches. I am anxiously waiting to see what that chicky looks like and fingers crossed it's a hen. I actually just made a discovery. The other olive egg chicky already hatched. So it's one of the little darker chickies that hatched overnight. For some reason, I thought the olive egg that is hatching right now is the olive chicky. So we already have an olive egg chicky that hatched. You can see right there. And that one is working on being hatched right now. So the olive egg chicky is either that one or that one. The olive chicky just hatched. They are right there. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is what it was like every time a chick hatched, but this dominant chicky, see, they are just beating up the other chickens. This one just struggled to hatch and now they're like struggling in there. So, oh man. I'm really hoping this little chicky that just hatched right there makes it. Um, I haven't been around for any of the hatches cause they happen at night or late in the day when I wasn't here. And man, that little chicky's just getting beat up on. And now they're my favorite because they're like the little underdog. And they're still attached to their shell and they're just trying to roll around and the other chickens are just running them over. So you can lift this up and take chickens out once they are all fluffy and they can stay in here for up to three days. So I'm waiting to see what happens. I'm gonna give it a few more days before I start taking the chicks out. And I don't want to open it up while they're wet because moisture issues and I just don't want to risk anything. So all I can do is just watch. It is the 22nd day, the night, and I'm up to six chicks. I'm kind of traumatized right now. I was going to take them out earlier into their little brooder that I have food and water prepared. And one chick just hatched and they have a little mass on the outside of them and all the other chickens are pecking at it. So I wanted to get them out, but it just hatched and it's wet. So I'm kind of in between if I want to take them out. Oh gosh, cause I don't know if the one little six chicky is going to make it just because they have the little mass on them. So I'll keep you guys posted. We're just gonna come back in the morning. I don't know if this little chickie's gonna make it. I don't know what I could have done, I guess. Cause they were just born with something that the other chickens wanted to eat. 
I guess I could have taken the chickies out, but hatching was just going so fast and the chicks were pipping, so their eggs were breaking and you don't want to open this when eggs are breaking, so really nothing I could do. I'll let you guys know how it goes in the morning. I just grabbed the dead chicky from the incubator. I'm just not going to show it because it might be disturbing to some people seeing a cute little dead chicky as we're seeing all these cute alive chickies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go bury it near my garden and it can compost and add some nutrients and stuff to the soil. So let's go do that. I think we're at the end of hatching. We hatched seven eggs. One of them passed away, which I'm really bummed and gutted about, but they just didn't form all the way, I think. And we're gonna give them a nice little goodbye near the garden. And once this chicken's all fl fluffed up, I will put them into their brooder and then I'll show you all the little chickies in the brooder. Everybody's doing good this morning. We're outside at my little burn compost pile. I am going to bury the little chickie under here. The soil's hard, so hopefully nobody digs it back up, but let's do it. I have a little chicky. I dug the hole and I'm just gonna put them in here and bury them up. And then they will compost and break down and then I will use the soil for my garden. So it's a circle of life. All right, the time has come. It has been about two weeks. The chickies I got from the farm store are big enough that they are going to go outside. What's so important to remember here is that they have to have their feathers. They are feathered out. So I just created an area in the coop for them. I set up food, water, and an area away from my established flock so they can like get used to each other. I'll show you guys. It's in the center of the coop and they, they are ready. And there has been, uh, it's just been, man, having chickens in the house, they get things so dusty. <laughs> They're just like chaotic energy. So I am so ready to get them outside. I'll meet you guys out at the coop. Behind me is the chicken coop. Over in this area is where my established flock is. And in this center area is where I am going to be keeping the young chickies. I don't want to put them all together at once because, well, they could get bullied by the big chickies. They are way outnumbered. There's only four. So I'm going to keep them in here so they can get used to each other's language and chirping. And let me show you how I set it up. It's nothing crazy, but in here there's the bedding that when they used to come in here in the winter, I still need to do a summer clean out, water, food, and if they want to roost up there, the little chickies can, but it's nothing crazy right now, but they just need to get used to this flock. The chickies are anxiously awaiting to go into their new home. I'm just going to slide this in here and then we can watch them come out. My established flock are like, what is that? They are now inside the coop, kind of wondering what's going on. A little curious. I'm just going to pick them up and bring them out. Whoop. getting established. They seem curious and so are they. Woo! We got the little chickies set up. I'm gonna take out their brooder and they're just gonna settle in. I'm so so excited for them because I can tell that they're happy. They're happy to be out of their brooder. There's so much going on they can go and explore and they have each other to hang out with their little family. Looks like they're exploring. They're next to their food and water. I'm sure they'll discover it soon. Then in a few weeks, probably I would say two to three weeks, the six other chickies that we hatched will come out here and we'll acclimate them with these chickies. 
Hey friends, so we are at the end of our chicken hatching adventure. We hatched our chicks, they're now in the coop. Let me show you because yesterday I brought them out here. So let me show you what the process looked like. I noticed that the little chicks were definitely outgrowing their brooder, so I knew it was time to move them outside. So I took them outside in their little storage box and I placed it inside of the chicken coop. And what I did was I just took off the lid in there so they could kind of hear what's going on, see what's going on. And my other chickens were kind of unsure and so were the baby chicks at first. So it was kind of fun to watch, but after letting them acclimate for a little bit, I decided to just reach in there and start grabbing them to put them out to go and get used to their new little chicken coop home. There was one that did not want to come out of the box, but it's so funny because they're in there chirping because they were sad that their brothers and sisters left them. So they were running, but they were happy to be out and everybody was happy to be out together. And I just sat and watched them and the older farm store chickies just sort of cowered in a corner, but everybody seemed to be doing good after they were warming up. And then they got brave and started wandering over to the feeder and the waterer. And then after a while, they were up there with the farm store chickies and they were eating from their feeder. And I was so happy to see that. So this is how I took my chickies out to the coop and now they are outdoor chickies. I want to thank you so much for coming along on this adventure. It was my first time ever hatching eggs and it was quite the adventure. We hatched seven eggs out of 12. Unfortunately, one passed away, but it has been the greatest experience and I cannot wait to watch these chicks hatch. And I'm kind of unsure. I know I'm pretty sure I have three roosters and three hens, but I'm kind of nervous. I have more roosters, so I'll keep you posted on what I do with them. And until then, don't do anything you got one do and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!